in lockdown, I noticed that the difference between um, our house on um, the Twerton High Street and the other high streets, such as uh, Chelsea Road, uh, Whitcomb, uh, High Street, and Morden Road. Um, in Whitcomb, people were still had our fresco and our our fresco eating and drinking, and there was still like a thriving commerce within the street, and people were you know still enjoying um, being outside and able to go down that high street because it had a vibe. Twerton High Street, there's nothing down there. It was just so such a disparity between the two two postcode, you know. BA1 and BA2, it was just so stark to me. And I just thought, oh my goodness, like how can this possibly be? Um, obviously there's obvious reasons because of wealth, um, uh, but also it, to me, I just thought, well, the citizens of Twerton are still paying their local taxes and still paying into, um, into the council. So why are there not any hanging baskets? Why is the, uh, the high street not being, cleaned it doesn't look like it's been cleaned by street cleaners um and and i just was asking myself why is this so i just thought well maybe i'll reach out to um weira hobhouse and ask uh, is there a reason is now, there... twerton hasn't got um georgian crescents and there aren't any roman remains as far as i'm aware or great historic parks. How, how would you go about improving the situation and, and promoting Twerton? Vera was saying that each, each area had a different character. Now, the character that Twerton is meant to, I don't know what character that is. To me, it's like a down and out boho and it's not going anywhere, anywhere soon, but it has a really, really strong community you know it's really it is quite a strong community uh, they will if you say something about twerton they will actually defend it which is quite interesting because on the outside it's not all jazzy and singing and dancing um but one of the reasons i think is the working class um obviously the big history for me um of twerton um is a twerton mill which is the industrial revolution um it was uh revolutionary in that it brought money into the area twerton was um an up-and-coming area in wealth and also I think it's quite important. It is part of the historical history of Bath as well as the Crescent, as well as the Roman Baths, as well as um, all the other, maybe BA1 um, hotspots to go to. So I feel that we're missing the trick. Can um, I, with the greatest of respect, Diana, are, are you one of those armchair moaners? I mean, it, it's very easy to go online and say this is wrong and that's wrong, but um, are, are you willing to put your, your money where your mouth is? Will you go out and take action? I wasn't um, putting the high street down, asking the reason why there isn't anything there. And um, so... Uh, I'm from an artist perspective. I just wanted to make, I think, well, art doesn't cost anything. So I wanted to, I am going to put, um, brighten up the high street through art. That's all I want to do. I'm not political, um, but I was just asking because I could see there was a big difference. So I thought to myself, art, you know, reaches out in many ways. So I'm not an armchair, no. I'm very much going out and um, I've been reaching out to the community, um, have reached out to the community, and I'm hoping to um, make the place a bit brighter until I reached out to Tim Ball and Sarah Moore and I met them and they told me all what's going on down the high street. And some of it's very much wrapped up in red tape and bureaucracy, but art can go through that. They are saying to me, be careful, like don't have the safety issues. Uh, you can't vandalize um, the shop that's boarded up. I'm saying I'm gonna paint on the boarded up shop front. And they're saying, if I paint it, they're gonna be a vandal. Well, if that means I'm going to be a vandal to brighten up the place and so be it, you know. And I just said, well, that's going to happen. You know, sometimes any press is good press because if that means I'm going to get arrested for making the high street bright, then we're, then we're going to 
we live in a funny world. You well, know, I, I, be... Yeah, Diana, I certainly don't want to uh, encourage you to do anything where you're going to get arrested or, or break the law. But um, Sarah Moore told me that there is a Twerton residence group and on Facebook, they've got almost a thousand members. But she said uh, in calling meetings, which they were holding before lockdown, uh, they struggled to get six people to actually uh, come along. So, uh, do you think Twerton's a bit apathetic? You know, I think um, that Twerton residents maybe um, are a bit demoralised basically, because nothing seems to change. On the day that I was down on the high street, um, I was actually talking to Tim Ball, and you know the new um, scooters that you can go on, the new electric scooters? Yep, yep. Well, you can jump on those and go to certain areas. Well, actually, two boys were actually going down the high street, and those scooters weren't meant to go down the high street, and this guy pulled up to Mr Ball and goes, what are you effing going to do about those scooters, you know? I mean, I couldn't have asked for a magical moment in that moment. And Tim Ball was going, they're not meant to do that. They're not meant to do that. I was going, I know, but they are. Anyway, I asked um, the two boys that are on their scooters, they said they took them back. And I said, um, can you tell me about the high street? He goes, I'm 25 years old and nothing's ever changed in Trenton High Street in my 25 years that I've been here. And he's a young lad. He's a young man, you know. So, um, Diana, your idea of um, brightening the place up, um, are you hoping that people are going to sort of join you in this? Would, would it be a good idea to try and organise something where you can discuss maybe with other artists uh, plans I, to do this? I am doing that at present. I'm calling out all artists. I did call out all artists last week. But some of them were obviously afraid of being arrested um, for doing art. And I said, have you heard of Banksy? And um, they would laughed at that. But they would, said that... Would, would it actually be a good idea to do this in conjunction with your two uh, local councillors? Then it's all legal and above board. Well, I have asked them that. They said, please, you know, I'd like you to be legal and don't um, start vandalising by painting and uh, making, you know, putting flowers. So I have taken that into consideration. So I'm going to use nature and I'm going to use cloth, um, which is reverting back to the original revolutionary that obviously Turin was about with cloth and textile. So I'm going to make bunting and people have reached out to locals to um, donate any bunting just to wrap it and just so it looks bright. It's good for your mental health to see stimulating visuality. There's nothing, you know, it's just so simple and it will help people's mental health because obviously we've been through the pandemic and it's, you know, it can be very suppressive and very enclosing. So I just think, open it up, make things bright. And it's just a simple, it's just simple. It's not political. I just want, I actually avoided the high street because I didn't want to drive down it anymore because there wasn't any, you know, it's just depressing. So I went down the lower Bristol Road instead of going down my high street. And I thought, actually, because I'm doing that, it made me realise, Dinah, it's easy to turn your eye and ignore. You can't ignore, do something about it. So I'm just trying. There are a lot of many um, people in the community doing great work. Yep. There's uh, the Bath Community Shop that's run by a lady called Rachel Fowden. She's there day in, day out. Um, 11 years has been running, she gets no help, it's all charity donated, she's like the heart of Twerton High Street, she knows everything and everybody, you know, and um, she's there day in, day out, um, so there are a lot of good people, and also Tim and Tim Ball and, and Sarah Moore, you know, they're, they're, they've been there day in, day out for, you know, obviously the, the part of the Bar Council, yeah. I'm just a this is a, like, just seeing something. So, you know, um, people might say, oh, am I going to be flying in and flying out? I'm just an artist that's seen something visually that I thought that it would make maybe a lot of people happier to walk down the high street. That's all.